Welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, and it's day 3,792. A little dull coming up here, but hey, I mean, I just got off of getting a five-star cover, so I'm not supposed to be able to complain, right? Anyways, um, what are we doing today? We're crashing Titans, so it's a kind of relatively short one, but I mean, you know, Titans are always important to crash, and I like to always give a little bit of a you know, history lesson with uh, whatever the four stars that are featured in there. So we got two of the crashes today, so good uh, chance for two LTs. Let's start with the first one. We're going against three-star Hawkeye, or should I say Hawkeye? I mean, with a G. Uh, Hawkeye uh, joined as a three-star later in the life of Marvel Puzzle Quest. Not so late to the point where, like, you know, he's any time recent, but he definitely was on some of the original three stars. Um, when he joined in, he definitely um, was after passives have been became all the rage. And hence why you see him with a passive that is actually pretty useful and, no, and uh, notorious. I say notorious because if you see someone using three star Hawkeye, you best believe it's because they're going to take advantage of that passive. Notably, the ability to match an enemy tile and get plus two blue and purple AP from it. What's up, John? How's it going, man? Um, his blue is okay. You know, much of, a bunch of random uh, arrows go out there. Oh, hey, Dark. How's it going, dude? Um, <laughs> good to see you, dude. Um, it's, it's all good. It's been a minute. It's okay, man. Um, and, um, so his blue has a bunch of nifty trick arrows within it and it's cost only five and it seems like it'd be cool on paper, but honestly, the fact that you can't rely on the same ability over and over again makes it a little lackluster. His purple puts out some nice strikes. It's a little pricey, but it's okay. Um, with that being said, unfortunately he has this whole, um, his whole thing where he uh, can eat the strikes after a couple of turns goes by and just to do a little more damage. It's not as fun as it as you might think it might be. It's really all about that black, that black passive. Um, it also has a chance to heal him, make some enemy tiles, but we're talking about that passive. Plus two blue, plus two purple. Really good for enemies. I'm um, not enemies, I'm sorry, to exploit enemy tiles that are out there. Four star carnage is kind of a friend of his in some ways. Anyways, who are we going to go up against 3-star Hawkeye with? Kate Bishop, which has uh, some similar things. Um, when we talk about Kate Bishop, it's kind of like they took 3-star Hawkeye and said, let's just upgrade a little bit, but without a passive? Um, so because Boomerangs, same deal going on here. You got um, some uh, some mid-price power. It creates some strike tiles that are pretty decent, um, but it also makes a countdown that removes some of your friendly strike tiles and deals a bunch of damage. I mean, it's good for the damage dealing, just no one likes removing your friendly strike tiles, right? I mean, it's not a good thing, but I mean, it is a good amount of damage. Ugh. It's just hard to get around removing friendly tiles, right? The good thing, I guess, you can point out is it does create five and removes three, but meh. Um, the blue, Ruthless Precision, is not like Hawkeye's blue at all. It is a lot more expensive, actually. It is more reliable because you could cast it over and over again, but uh, it's only 12. So how many times are you going to cast that per fight? Um, it does a lot of damage for 12 blue. About almost 20,000. You can look here on my screen here. Uh, makes a five turn blue countdown. And while it's on there, enemies cannot gain health. Um, that's pretty big, honestly. There's not a lot of characters in there, very few, that do anything with blocking healing. Usually, that the block like any sort of power usage or stun them or something. This one literally makes it so they can't heal. And if enemies can't gain health, that means they can't come back to life. That's a big deal. There's a lot of characters that this actually highly neutralizes. Um, you could use Kate Bishop to really get around a bunch of different things, but unfortunately, you need 12 blue first to even get this out there. And it is tied to a countdown, so if they can get rid of the countdown, it's not that much of a threat. Um, 
If the target drops below 25% health, the, uh, the, to the, the tile is destroyed and you down the targeted character. That used to not be part of the whole package, by the way. That is an upgrade from recent um, buffs that she received. Ooh, the change from original building, right? Yep. Yes, it was, John. As we just went over, you are correct. It used to not have that whole 25% dealio. Finally, there's looking for trouble. For eight black, she, well, she does a good amount of damage for the cost, but she creates a four turn black countdown tile that deals some damage back to herself. This used to be worse. In, in other words, it used to actually do a lot more damage to herself, um, and the damage that it did wasn't as much. It, in other words, it got buffed. Um, so, all in all, it's, um, it's a decent ability now. It's still, you don't really want that damage back to yourself, but it's a four turn black countdown. You probably have ways to get rid of that within four turns. At the end of the day, she's not really the best character because there is no passives. And nowadays, as we said before on this channel, passives rule the game. Um, but she does have some pretty strong abilities. It's just a shame that her cheapest one is eight purple and eight black. Boosts. Oh, we almost forgot. Let's get our animations on. Act like I'm a new to this game or something. Okay, story, Deadpool Daily, click a tile, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, animations are on. Equip Lucky for plus one to countdowns. Hmm, Sh should I do that? I guess I could. Oh, yeah. ironically, he's tied to Hawkeye right now, but I could. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I have a level five Lucky. This is one of the few times I have a support of this caliber for the character. Um... The support itself does um, enemy powers damage, is, uh, it reduces them. Uh, friendly special tile is matched as a chance to heal the supported character for some health. Um, there's not a lot of friendly specials we're going to be making here, uh, so there is that. Um, when you make a match in the team's strongest color, there's a chance of improving a friendly strike tile. That's kind of helpful. Supported character's crit multiplier is increased by 1.4. And it's what a character's purple match damage has increased. Uh, for Kate Bishop herself, when she fires a power, increase one of your ruthless precision or looking for trouble countdown tiles by one turn. So, yeah, I guess we'll go with it. We'll give it a shot just because we never get to see that sort of pairing go together. Let's go. Let's get in there. Ready? Fight. <clears throat> when did the buff play twice? Wasn't even aware her power change shows how often I use her. Well, yeah, it happened what? maybe gosh, a year and a half ago, something like that. I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating here. It's been a while since it happened, but you're right, Dark. No one uses her because, again, no passives. So, anywho, let's get in there. We're going to match. We need purples, we need blacks, we need blues. Um, weird thing, one of the very few good guy characters that has a blue, purple, black layout usually blue purple blacks are like immediate bad guys something i've noticed over time is usually like certain types of characters have certain layouts um did i take the purple i take the purple um we'll take some blue why not we're running out of good matches here. See, there's no blacks available, no purples available, no blues available. This seems to happen a lot during our crashes. Especially when it's um, a character that relies on casting instead of passives. Yeah, they have a whole, like, good guy, bad guy theme of colors. Like, a lot of good guys have a red, yellow, green or red, yellow, blue. I'm not quite sure what it's all about. Just, I don't know, but the way they design the characters. <laughs> no purples, no blacks, no blues, geez. It's almost like they don't want us to win. It's, weird. it's so crazy. I guess I'll take this team up? Sure. There's a bullet arrow, and we're stunned. And, of course, he gets to build up his tiles. Fun. That animation's always pretty good. Now he's generating blue and purple because of matching those tiles. 
This could be annoying. He's getting away with a lot of stuff because he's getting matches that he desires. Not cool. Thankfully, Kate's abilities are pretty strong. It's not going to take much to take him down once we get it. There's an explosive arrow. We don't want that. And of course, they just happen to put it out of reach. Uh, I'm going to take this blue then. Fine. Okay, or black, or whatever. I can tell I'm colorblind today. Um, team up? It's only 2,000 damage. We could take that. She's a big girl. She can handle that sort of stuff. A lot different than the Kate Bishop we saw in the Disney Plus series. Oh, uh, boy. So there's a crit tile, but there's also the blue and green combo over there. Um, do I just take the, the purple? I'm just, yeah, I guess. <sighs> That's rough. I guess I'll just um, do that. Yeah, it's a good show. I like that Hawkeye show. I mean, it always helps that, like, you know, Wilson Fisk shows up at some point. And Yelena, yeah. Those are good characters. They really are. Okay, so um, we'll do two of these. First off, we'll start with the, the boomerangs. So you can see that animation. And then we'll do the black, because this will end them. There we go. So in the next one, maybe we can get some of the blue off? Maybe? Blue would have been nice there, though. Stop him from healing by matching tile. I mean, by casting that black, I should say. There's one LT. Move on to the next one. Crash the Titans against the Invisible Woman. Um, Invisible Woman is easily one of the earliest four stars in all of Marvel Puzzle Quest. Um, with her yellow, blue, green thing. She has been buffed like two different times since her, since her release. Um, she has a pretty cheap yellow that allows her to make her whole team invisible. Um, tied to a countdown tile. Um, she, no wait, not tied to a countdown tile. I'm sorry. Scratch that. It just makes the team invisible, period, for two turns, except for there's an invisibility tile that targets invisible woman. So you can make her visible just by matching, destroying, etc., getting rid of that tile. But the rest of the team is still invisible for two turns. It's kind of interesting about her for that. Um, the uh, blue will lock, um, it locks enemy tiles in place, and it creates some really powerful strike tiles. Um, and uh, it's, it's good for the, just the strike tile strength, but what's notable is the green will do a nice bit of uh, damage. It's a nice nuke. And it does even more if you have enough locked tiles out there on the board. So for order of operation purposes, you want to cast that blue, lock as many tiles as you can, and then do the green when you have enough locked tiles out there. Anyways, with all that being said, as long as we don't let her go invisible, we're okay. Like, the blue and green are a little costly. So it should be fine, just don't let her go invisible. We already know how to play this game by now. Let's heal up. Come on, Kate. Let's take it to him. Girl fight. Anyways, um, we'll take the crit. Wait, was that dark side? OCD had me check myself. Seven heroes with blue, black, purple. Hawkeye being the only three star and um, Black Widow being the only two star. Isn't that crazy? Out of all this cast, it's amazing. It's such a huge cast, and there's only so many blue, black, purple heroes. Um, we're going to take that purple into Cascade. There we go. Now, I'm going to aim to get that blue off this time, because we didn't get to see it last time. That's my aim for this fight. <clears throat> Still going to take the colors I need, though. And just so happens if I take the blue, she can't take the blue. Good stuff, really. She's almost dead. What happened? Was it the crit? Was it the crit damage? Did the crit damage kill her? 
I'm confused. It must have done the crit. Like, I didn't do anything, right? And just... I'm, that went super fast. <laughs> I I wasn't expecting the crit to do that much damage. It must have been because of Lucky. You know, Lucky powering up an extra 1.7 times. Okay, well, that's one way to go through it. Get Lucky with some crits. <laughs> My fight with her had her getting all her powers off because the board just kept fading her primary colors and then stopped. Oh, jeez. Yeah, check the tape. I'll definitely be looking at that. That's for sure. Oh, video buffering, huh? I got a um, low latency going on here, according to my stream. But whatever. I it's okay. We hit the end of our of our wow, our crashes. That was super fast. I did not expect Kate Bishop to just walk through the invisible woman like that. Oh well. Well, that's Kate Bishop's Crashes of the Titans. I can't explain why that went so fast besides just crit tiles, but here we are. Um, if you had to go through it again, honestly, um, I wouldn't rely on necessarily crit tiles. Um, I would honestly try for the blue or black anyways, because you don't want Invisible Woman locking up your purples and then using them against you to blow them up. That's just a thought. Anyways. Little laggy. Yeah, I, I've noticed that, John. I don't know what happened here. Kind of crazy. I haven't had this problem in a while. I've been using this certain setup in the house, and it's been great. And then all of a sudden... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just a one-off. Oh, well. That's all we got for now. That's just the crashes for Kate Bishop. Thank you very much for joining me, John and Dark. Good to see you back in it. And um, I will talk to you guys really soon, because we know we got a... Um, gonna have another pull eventually here when the stores change so i'll talk to you guys soon later everybody